Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel for another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today, we're going to learn how to download and install custom video transitions in Final Cut Pro. In last week's video, we learned how to create the blink and eye effect seen at the start of this video. That was done completely in Final Cut Pro and if you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. For those looking for an easier way to accomplish this effect, I've made a custom transition plugin that can be instantly applied to your project. To install this transition, either type the following link in your web browser or click on the link in the description to go to my website and download the Blink and Eye Transition zip file. Double click this file to uncompress it. Next, click on the finder icon in your dock and in the menu bar, select Go and click on your home folder. From here, open your Movies folder and select Motion Templates. If you don't have a Motion Templates folder or any folders mentioned in this tutorial, I'll explain how to create these at the end of this video. Open the Motion Templates folder and double click on the Transitions folder to open it. Drag and drop the Blink and Eye folder you downloaded into this Transitions folder. Close Finder and restart Final Cut Pro. To apply this transition to your video clip, after restarting Final Cut Pro, open the Transitions browser. Near the top of the list, you should see a Blink and Eye category. Select it and drag and drop the Blink and Eye transition between your clips to apply it. Now, because of the nature of this effect, it's longer than most default transitions. For this to work properly, your clips will need to have at least 1 second media handles. If they don't, Final Cut Pro will ripple trim your clips when you apply this transition and change the timing of your project. If you watched the previous video on creating this effect in Final Cut Pro, you know how much time that takes. Using this plugin is much quicker and easier. If you go to my website, you can download this plugin free of charge but only for a limited time. If it's not free anymore, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on freebies like this in the future. Now, for those of you that don't have a Motion Templates folder, follow these steps. Open Finder and open your home folder by pressing Shift Command H. Double click on your Movies folder to open it. Now, control click anywhere in the empty area of this window and select New Folder. Name it Motion Templates, exactly how you see it here, spelling being very important. Control click on the folder you just created and select Get Info. In the Name and Extensions category, add a .localize extension to your folder name. Once again, spelling is very important here. Close the info window and open the folder you just created. Inside this folder, create four new folders and name them Effects, Generators, Titles and Transitions. Once again, spelling is very important. Add a .localize extension to each folder. Now, any downloaded plugins installed in the proper folder will be available in Final Cut Pro. Pay close attention to the release notes of the plugins you download for proper installation instructions. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by hitting the like button and in the comments below. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Lots of free stuff coming in the future, but all for a limited time. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.